was a prize for the most useless complication, it would also probably go to the one that's the most beautiful and certainly among the most expensive. I'm in the perfect place to explore this topic. Hi, Andrew. Hi. How are you? I'm great. Okay, I'm Emmanuel <laughs> Messillier, the Hello. head of the high complexion department. Mm -hmm. And today I want to explain you how the tourbillon is working. So, awesome. it's, it's okay for you. Let's go to my office. That's I show so you. It's good to be true. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> so, Andrew, we are on my workshop. Wow. You can see all the components for one watch. Only yes. one watch, all this component to do uh, tourbillon. I, I'm terrified. Don't ask me to do Why? anything. I, I, I'm just gonna stand back here. Actually, there's one thing I wanna touch. I wanna touch this because okay. this is where we're heading. This is the end goal. Yeah. And we are focusing today on the tourbillon, how it works. So we're gonna get to that. Yeah. That's why you're watching, I understand. There are some components here that are also in the watch, but we can sweep over those because I want to land right on this, this, this part of the desk here. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening here. I have a suspicion, but tell me. Yeah, you're right to focus on this part because <laughs> this part is the main work mm -hmm. on this watch. Yes. This is the cage tourbillon. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our cage tourbillon, in Hublot, we have 69 components. Mm -hmm. It's a very important part of the movement and it needs uh, almost uh, eight, nine hours just for this part of the movement. That's crazy. While we're focusing on this little part, what caused this thing to come into existence? When was this invented? Why was it invented? Ah, it was uh, patented by Louis Abraham Breguet in mm -hmm. 1801. Yes. Because uh, in this time, all the men wear their watch is on the pocket. In the pocket, yeah. So on a vertical position. Mm -hmm. And uh, to accurate uh, the movement, mm -hmm. uh, the genius of uh, Breguet uh, put all the components of uh, uh, the escapement of a watch on the same cage. Mm -hmm. And this cage are revolving in uh, one turn on one minute. Yes. And, and that stopped the effect of gravity because it kept moving the escapement yeah, around. Correct. Right. And is, there's less of a practical need for a tourbillon now. Why do you think they're still popular? Because uh, this complication is very attractive, mm. uh, it's very visual. It is. You, you see it and you are hypnotized because they are only twisting mm -hmm. and uh, many, many uh, watchmakers and uh, amateurs are like, uh, like this uh, complication. Mm -hmm. Well, it's mesmerizing and I expect it's very difficult to put together. So I'd like you to talk me through it. What are the components? How do we go from this tray to this beautiful operational yeah. little tourbillon cage. So, when we twist this cage, this cage is complete. Mm -hmm. So you can see... What first, is the operation here? What yeah, are we seeing? You can see uh, first two things mm -hmm. twisting. This one, the big one, is uh, the balance. Mm -hmm. And the little one with the teeth mm -hmm. is the escape wheel. Mm -hmm. And between the, these two parts are the anchor and the anchor distribute the power to, uh, to the, the balance wheel. Yes. How is this connected to this beautiful unfinished movement here oh, yeah. and how does it get its power from the watch? Good, good question. Uh -huh. There is a little pinion right here. Yeah, so I can see the yeah. teeth. Yep. Yeah, this one. And uh, this pinion have to connect with this inverse wheel. Mm -hmm. And after this, we fix with a, with a bridge mm -hmm. with two screws. But uh, where are the screws? I can't see a bridge here. Oh, yeah, yeah. because there is a, a, a sapphire bridge. Ah, which works into the theme okay. of this watch. If we go back to our yeah. end watch, it's clear. It looks like it's a roll cage around a car. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> because with this bridge, the accurate of this tourbillon is higher than a flying tourbillon. It's yeah, more right. stable. I understand. Yeah. Well, look, I'm, I'm in. Um, I will take one. Uh, okay. No, I, I do want a tourbillon more now than I did before, so I think this is a very evil path you have me on. I see, I see what you're doing here. Thank you very okay. much for talking. Thank you for coming, Andrew. <laughs> nice to see you.